I had my first mission with the Patriot Guard Riders recently, and uh, it was really a transformative experience. And if you're even thinking about joining up uh, with the Patriot Guard Riders, I encourage you to do so. The process is very easy. It's um, it basically you just sign up for an email list, and when there's an event in your state, you'll get an email uh, indicating what needs to be done and where you need to go. And if you can do it, great. If you can't, that's also okay. But at least you're part of the process. My first mission was for a 26-year-old fallen Marine, uh, whose brother is also a Marine. And when I was at the viewing the night before, um, we stood in a flag line at attention, just off quietly to the edge there. And without exception, some three dozen Marines came up individually, shook our hands, saluted us, and thanked us for being there. And that really drove home to me what this is all about. It's as much about the living as it is about the dead. Um, and that's an important thing to think about. So to be a part of the um, Patriot Guard Riders, you really just need a motorcycle if you're going to ride there, and you don't even need that if uh, all you have is a car. And you need to have a flag, a 3 by 5 flag with a pole. And I'll show you how I accomplished uh, carrying that on my motorcycle. I purchased my 3 by 5 flag at Walmart. It was about 10 bucks, And it came in a plastic uh, container like this, kind of rolled up. And what I did for the first night was just, you know, keep the rolled up thing here, put some bungee cords over it, and that was fine. But I came up with a better solution right after that. Basically, this uh, solution here, it has, it has three sections of metal pole and the flag. I attached the flag to the one section, and these other sections just pop together quickly. So when you're storing it, it's just a matter of rolling it up. And what I ended up using was, this is for a camera tripod case, and it has a little strap on it. So I was able to slip this flag into this camera tripod case, slip this around my shoulder, and just ride like that. So that worked out fine for me. Other riders, um, they've come up with different solutions. But the important thing is just to have a 3 by 5 flag on a 6 foot pole, and you're just going to hold that at attention for most of the uh, event. And it, it, you need to be able to break it down fairly quickly um, when the event is over or when you're moving from one place to another. So that's all you really need. It's not expensive. Um, it's fairly easy to do. Just think about how you're going to tie down the, uh, the flag and the pole as you're riding from place to place. So once you have the flag figured out, that's really the, the hardest part. The rest is easy. You're going to sign up on the Patriot Guard website for the emails. If something's going on in your area, you'll get an email. Um, there'll be a ride captain to contact in the email if you have any questions. And when you're at the event, the ride captain will um, direct you about what needs to be done, where you need to go, and that sort of thing. It's, it's all very easy. Um, you don't need any special clothing or anything like that. Um, everybody's just wearing whatever they're riding in normally. Um, you might be concerned that, you know, maybe this club is all about old Harley riders who are veterans from other wars and that sort of thing. And that's definitely part of the vibe. But anybody is welcome. You could be younger, you could be riding something other than a Harley like I am. Um, it really doesn't matter. The important thing is we're all there to show respect for both the dead and the living. And um, it, it, it's a kind of a, a loose association more than it is a motorcycle club. So don't get hung up on that part of it. I really encourage you to check this out. And it's a way for motorcycle riders to show respect for the military and for the first responders and also to give back to our community that um, accept us in other ways so please check it out